Hello friends, so in this video I will be talking about the cart activity and how I implemented it, the design and the implementation of the cart activity and I will also try to show you the cart list in the Firebase database. I discussed these briefly about the cart activity in the previous video which was of the home activity and the uh, product details activity and you can see that video for your reference if you don't understand anything okay. So this button takes us to the cart and I've created a I've used a home button here to like go back to the home button. So first of all I'll show you how do we add items to the cart. Suppose I want to add this in the quantity, suppose I have to I want two quantity. So yeah, two quantity, the price and the product name and the total amount of it you can also like add more something like let's say i want to add this sculpture then suppose only one i want and then add to cart and then add it to cart list and then this the total amount okay and when we click the next button it asks for the name and the address and everything the shipment detail basically where you want it to be delivered okay so what happens now is I will show you how it actually works okay so this is the layout it's pretty much it's pretty much very simple nothing so special about it I've used the recycler view to show the different elements here okay then a button to add to go to the next that is the to enter all the details for the shipment and then I've used like the text view as a home button here to go back to home and I've used the text view to show the total price over here which is inside a relative layout which is again inside the parent layout which is the relative layout okay and then here in the cart activity what we have done is initially uh, we have like declared all the text buttons and all that we are going to require the text view and the buttons and then we have initialized it we have initialized the recycler viewer and then the layout manager for the recycler viewer and this is the initialization so when we press the home button we go to the home activity okay so from the cart activity to the home activity we are using this intent we are not passing anything extra ok in the next process button we go to the confirmation final order activity where we like put in the shipment details and all and also we put the price uh, in the extra of the intent so we can fetch it there and then we can send it forward for the payment options and all okay we'll do that later then we create a database reference what we, what we do here is in this cart activity uh, let me go to the cart first okay so by clicking here you can go to the cart so in the cart activity what we are doing is all these products that are in the cart we are adding it to the firebase database i'll just show you okay So as you can see here, this is a new node, which is the cart list. We've created two views for the admin and for the user. So it basically contains the same information. When the man, uh, admin once confirm this order, it is sent for the shipment and all. We'll be adding that functionality later. So till now, what is all the cart list? we have just now added so the, uh, the time and the date okay for it is actually the primary key i have told you about it the primary key or the product the product id okay so this is the date on which we have added to the cart list okay and then the quantity in this 
okay so basically this is the product this is fetched by the in the recycler view by this firebase reference into the recycler adapter okay so it's pretty much standard there we put in the recycler view as you can see we're using the price the quantity and the uh, product name so on the holder text product price we are putting the we are getting the price from the database uh, that is from the cart list okay not cart list actually from the product okay from the products node okay and then to calculate the total amount which you can see right here what we are doing is uh, uh, we are getting the price for one product okay one type of the product suppose the type of the product is this we are getting it for one product and then we are getting the quantity which is right here and then we are multiplying the number of products into the number of products into the price of the product okay and then the overall price is for one type product and the overall price overall price is like the global variable here which is zero initially and then it keeps on increasing for each product we like keep on adding uh, it and then we store it in the overall total price and then what we do here is uh, we set the text of the total amount to overall total price okay so and also there's this functionality where you can like if you like want to you want to buy this in two quantity you don't want to buy one so you can go to edit and you are sent to the product activity suppose you do. do it to then add to cart then it comes to and the price is increased obviously and then you can like remove it if you don't want it you can like remove it it refreshes and then this so we are doing it here we are using character sequence okay uh, so if i is equals to zero basically the first option and what we have to do is like the first one is to let me see okay the first one is to edit so we are getting the pid and we are sending to the product details and then you can add it edit there and add multiple or maybe less or more whatever you want okay number of products then if it is one then we are just removing it and then we are showing that item is removed and then we are reloading the card activity basically okay so that's it that's pretty much it for the cart activity the total amount you are like displaying it here you're setting text here for the total amount you converting it into string and pasting it here okay then you can like click next and then you can write all your name and stuff and you can click on confirm details you'll be directed to the payment options and all the stuff which i have to work still on okay i have to still work on that okay so i can also show you like what i have done in the settings activity so maybe in the next video i will show you the settings activity and all okay so thank you for watching this video goodbye